Yo, what's good, y'all? I'll see theory you. So, today we are going to be doing another highly requested video, a scripting video, okay? This is my scripting progression that I wanted to share with you guys, all right? So, um, let's get this up. before we even get started, drop a like down below, and I wanted to explain something for you guys, okay? So, first things first, this is not for insomnia, guys. Everything that I script personally is just for you guys, right? It's for you guys so you can see it, maybe get some inspiration. Maybe you guys want to start some scripting, some of that good stuff. And I'm also going to be making a play soon when I get like, um, you know, a little bit more progression into what I'm actually trying to do. I'm going to open a place for you guys to just come in, test what you guys want to test and stuff like that. So this right here, Soifan's Bankai, is not for Bleach Asamiya. This is something that my homie made who's helping me out when it comes to matching stuff like this is not the script of um which is Samia is fat fabiox and the mesh maker is alan and both of them did not help me with anything related to this right here okay so you're gonna see this again in the future later on in the video um but yeah and another thing too i wanted to show you to actually you guys is uh uh oh yeah i don't i don't have a discord yet but um let me know if you guys want me to make one just for like showcasing what i script all right, so let me know down below if you want me to um, make a Discord so I can just showcase some stuff to you guys. It's going to be separate from my YouTube Discord, which I'm going to be remaking at 20k, by the way. I'll be making my YouTube Discord at 20k. All right, but I'll make a separate one purely for scripting if you guys want. All right, but anyways, let's get into the video. Okay, so what you guys are seeing right now is something that I had started after I had finished Kakashi. I tried to get into data stores, which is basically how you um, store data across players and stuff like that so when you join into a game you have data that you load in that you save when you leave and so on and so forth all right so i'm gonna go ahead and press play so you guys can see exactly what i'm talking about all right all right so right now i have strength level one and because i'm in studio it always resets you back to zero because usually you're regarded as a, just a, a new player in that in that case but if i actually join back on like the regular game itself then it will put me at my appropriate level this stuff in here does not say this is purely just for showcase purposes okay so what i have here is i have two weights um left and a right weight and i also have um some standard stuff that i can use to increase my strength level okay so i can do push-ups right and um push-ups increase at a lower rate right and then i'm also made it so if you Oh, you also can't move by the way when you're in you also can't move i make sure you did that just just a basic training system i had planned to make like a weight training game for you guys just so you guys you know get into fitness fitness awareness stuff like that so you can do your little sit-ups and then i also believe um i'm also gonna make it so you can't pick up certain weights depending on your strength level but right now you can just pick up whatever you want and this is also client side by the way guys so if i had another player right here or somewhere around here that was looking at this he would still see the weight there so he can pick it up himself if he wanted to all right so all the stuff is client side all right and you also can't pick up multiple weights this gives me a whole bunch of strength every time i pump as you guys can see nice little form i animated all this stuff by myself by the way i just want to become an all-arounder you know so i want to be able to do every single thing all right made all this you on myself everything you see here is for me myself okay now if you want to pick up this way you're gonna see right here when i try to click it nothing happens right but if you want to put it back you gotta put it back you gotta click right there in that spot you can pick up the other weight now and then you can use it all right so it's a very simple concept i will be expanding on this in the future after you guys uh you know show me some support on it i'll make some more stuff and i'll open it for you guys to test i can actually open this right here right now all right but i only open it if you get 200 likes on this video all right, 200 likes on this video i'll open it for everybody to test and i'll just keep adding to it all right so let's do that okay so we got that i'm gonna put it back and then that's pretty much it for right now for this weight system right here that i've made since i started after the kakashi um gameplay that i showed you guys all right all right now this stuff right here y'all what you guys see right here is supposed to be for a future game all right this stuff i actually this is when i got way better at um the fundamentals and i actually had like a good grasp of like what i was what i was doing and what's supposed to be saved what's not supposed to be saved um you know stuns stunning other players stuff like that okay so with this now right with this um uh we have ichigo shikai we also have like a bankai form but i did not um anchor it which i should have 
but he also has a bankai i have to make so this is what i'm currently working on right now okay so i'll just go ahead and show you guys and get to you real quick so it changes your animation right you have some nice strings that you can do here um nice five hit strings so i'll show you guys what that looks like you can do one two three four and then the last hit sends you back a little bit farther does a bit more damage and it does a um it does a, um a different um swing all right so you have that i'll show you guys how it actually looks now two three four you guys can see like it does like a little bit more damage there okay um the second thing i made which is actually unorganized right now is flash step okay so with flash step now you um you basically go invisible you come out invisible come out invisible come out sound is a bit off i didn't get to find a sound because i was kind of rushed working on it but um yeah nice little clean system i do say to myself for ichigo um let me know what you guys think i should do for another move for ichigo i was thinking about like an aoe type of attack um not too sure exactly what i'm gonna be doing yet but that's what i'm gonna be working on next tonight rather so yeah i'm gonna make an aoe attack for him um maybe to do damage and knock back push them back and stuff like that uh maybe he'll, he'll do like a, a sword raise like he'll raise the sword in the air and then he'll do the move and yeah but his second like actual offensive move right his second offensive move is get to potential so i'll show you guys what that looks like there's no sound effects for it yet because i just finished this last night look at that look at that light look at that lovely animation i made for it, man boom and that's the explosion effect so i don't want to do anything too crazy with the explosion you know what i mean it's gonna be nothing too crazy because it's just when you think about it in the show it's literally just um like a a, a reality explosion so that's why i did that right there also does like some knockback um of course you see the dummy getting animated and stuff like that so i think it's pretty cool and you can also use this to combat so i can literally like flash up up here get to go tensho or i didn't hit the reason why this didn't hit right here is because um as you guys can see the part spawns like right in front of you like right where your blade swings from so of course that's not gonna hit but this right here will hit as you guys can see so that's why it doesn't work so it's, you can't use this like just straight up um you have to be like a certain range then you can use it and ko them all right and like i said you could just literally combat right off of um a flash step gets your potential Ooh, that's some nice damage okay bop 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 all right didn't work that time i don't know why it didn't work <laughs> but um yeah gets your potential okay um now i'll go ahead and show you guys the other stuff that i'm gonna be working on in the future okay all right guys now finally right so this right here is soy fonts bonka now this right here is for the project after what i'm currently working on right now okay so what i'm currently working on is the stuff that you just previously seen with ichigo that's going to be for um something i want to make with um main soon all right we don't want to give too much details on it though but just know that's for that and then after that this is where like the big big great bomb beauty stuff is that's why you see we went all out with this soy farm bonkai here look at how clean that looks this is with the fins out and this is all gonna be animated up y'all it's already actually already rigged let me go ahead and show you guys how that looks so you guys you guys can see if i move this right here actually gets ready to launch the fins are gonna be inside they're gonna come out um yeah it's gonna fire like an actual missile all right so before i make that though before i even get to the bankai i have to come over here and then this is where her shikai is at. and this is also her shunko effect that i'm gonna be putting on her all right so I'm gonna really go crazy with this and the reason i'm doing soy fun is because i kind of i love her ability i'm not gonna lie i love her ability her bankai mm, not so much but i have never seen her bankai made ever on robots before and if it was made it was it's not gonna be made like how i'm gonna make it right here all right so so guys that's pretty much it for this video i did show you guys kakashi stuff but like i said guys this is simply for my subscribers um you know i just wanted to just wanted to throw some inspiration out there man because i really just got into scripting just because you know i was like mm, i'm tired of i'm tired of certain things going the way how they are and uh i just want to script something, something for you guys something fun um just so you guys can get some inspiration or you know just for you guys to test it and play it to have some fun 
So, um, yeah, just let me know down below your comments on anything. Like the video, subscribe if you're new. Share this video as well, all right? Share this video as well because originally I had no scripting knowledge, right? But I dedicated a month to just, you know, ana uh, analyzing what I have to learn and building up on myself and stuff like that. Um, if you guys want to know how I learned, I literally just, like, this is something that people don't believe me when I say it, but... All I literally did was go on go on YouTube, type in Roblox How To. They have a series of like the basics to Lua. I already have scripting knowledge, by the way, you guys. A lot of scripting knowledge, like three years, three four years of scripting knowledge. Okay, I just don't know Lua. But when learning a new language, you still have to start from the basics as well because you don't know certain things. So go on YouTube, type in Roblox How To videos, and um, do some of them. And then from there, it's all about just, you know, going on Google, searching up how to do this, how to do that, put them, put them together based on what you learn on your basics, and um, you're good from there. I suggest learning how to do a fireball before you do anything else like this advanced. So it's not even advanced, by the way. This is just still basic beginner level, but I'm, uh, it's advanced in terms of it's not beginner, not completely beginner. All right. So thank you guys so much for watching. This video theory miracle. I'm out. Love you guys. Deuces.